Alright guys, even here, welcome back and now we're gonna do another video about this uh, Arnold Classic Australia and the thing is I've seen a lot of comments, a lot of people talking about Cedric McMillan was actually better than Bonac and uh, I was looking at it and I wasn't really sure at first but then as I started watching this more and more I came to the conclusion that you guys may be right so let's go over this video footage they have here, it's very very high quality uh, let's enjoy it and uh, let's check, let's see what do we have and yeah, so we're gonna compare these two guys so let's start with front double bicep as you can see and yeah, first thing that comes to my eyes is their biceps definitely better biceps on Bonac if you look at the chest, pretty close, almost the same now the one thing that also pops to my eyes probably more than the biceps is the V-taper so if you pay attention to their waist to shoulder ratio Cedric is just overwhelming Bonek is just looking unimpressive here Cedric wins it in that regard but if you look at quads you can see that uh, William's quads are definitely bigger, fuller, rounder and the inner part of, their thigh, of his thighs is also bigger, fuller but I don't see the same definition honestly Cedric actually had better conditioning than Ben Bonnet probably this show you can see the feathers, you can see the striations on Cedric's quads I mean the cows are not quite there, I mean Bonnet's cows are better but I don't think judges care about cows at all so I mean yeah Bonnet has the size, the density, the thickness of his physique but Cedric McMillan just has better flow and uh, that's something I mean also the lats the lads and Cedric are looking more prominent, more popping, and uh, yeah, pretty much the only thing that Bonac has here is biceps and overall bigger quads, bigger legs. But I give this pose to Cedric, honestly. I just have to do it, just because of the overall flow. I mean, Cedric really has the potential to be the next Mr. Olympia. And you know, Bonac was third place at the Mr. Olympia when Phil Heath was there. So the only guy that beat him was Big Remy, but then Bonac also beat Big Remy multiple times. And now Cedric beat William. So if uh, I get you know and also Bonac also beat Sean Roden. So if Cedric comes like this and even maybe a little bit sharper, a little bit sharper this year in 2019, he can beat the Mr. Olympia. But yeah, I don't know, we just don't see that Cedric, we don't see Cedric come like that in the Mr. Olympia. He comes at an Arnold Classic, but Mr. Olympia so far, not that much. So yeah, well, let's hope for it. I mean, he has a lot of fans and I am one of them. I really love his physique. He's a tall guy like me, so I'm kind of striving to, be, to achieve his physique. And yeah, let's take a look at this pose now. So we're going to have front lat spread. And the first thing that I see that's really pops into my eyes, I'm sure it pops into your eyes as well, is their chest. So if you look at the chest, you can say that the, the development and the roundness, the thickness is kind of similar, but <laughs> chest on Cedric is just so broad, so wide, so big. Genetically, it's just genetics. But also the development is there, the conditioning is there, so he destroys him in the chest department. He absolutely annihilates him. And if you look at the stomach, uh, just not really the, the, the definition, the abs and that stuff. So basically the whole stomach, the core, you can see that it just kind of looks bad on Bonac. It just looks blocky. You want a stomach on a bodybuilder to look small and make everything else look bigger. But in this case, it's the opposite. His waist and his whole stomach area looks so huge that it makes his chest and his arms small. So next thing that you can see is arms. I mean, sure, his biceps are bigger than Cedric's, but the triceps are not. And the, the, the lats, you know, you can see the lats and Cedric much better. You can don't you don't see many uh, holes, you know. You can see just very complete physique. It's full. You don't have any holes like you can have. You can see at Bonac. And again, the legs are probably better than Bonac. They're definitely bigger, fuller, especially the inner part. They're connected, you know. And Cedric has a bit smaller legs, but the flow and the definitioning, the definition on them just looks better. And for this reason, I would say that his legs are probably even looking better. I mean, they are not bigger, but they look more defined and better shape on them and everything. And this overall pose, I give this one to Cedric by far, guys, by far. If you disagree with me, just explain to me how do you disagree, how Bonac won this pose, because it just makes no sense, Cedric destroyed this one. And honestly guys, I don't have a strict opinion on this, I don't really have a set opinion before I started making this video, I'm just going and watching this video right now, I watched it before but I wasn't really sure about 
I didn't really an an analyze pose by pose and muscle by muscle like I'm doing right now. So I'm not sure what's going to be the end result. So let's go with the next one. Let's go with this together. Let's see what we have next. And yeah, you can see that Luke is looking much worse than before. Cedric just destroyed him with conditioning and, you know, he has superior genetics. So when he gets conditioned, he looks overwhelming compared to everybody. But let's go now with Bonak and Cedric. And yeah, as you can see here, the overall density and the fullness, the thickness of physique goes to Bonak. And yeah, he just he's just more muscular. He's just so... carries so much muscle in his frame. It's just crazy. I mean, he's a small guy, he's a short guy, he looks maybe more like 212 competitor, but with a lot more muscle, he's just very, very thick and dense. And if you take a look at Cedric, you can see that he's doing this pose properly, this is side chest. Bonak is doing some kind of variation, some mix of side chest and most muscular. So, you know, for that reason you can knock him, but you cannot deny his muscularity and his conditioning. There is so many striations on his chest. So pay attention to Cedric now, and if you take a look at his hamstrings, you can take a look at them. They are visible, they are not hidden like at Bonnet. He's just doing this kind of variation where he shows his uh, quads more, and his glutes. But Cedric is showing, you know, quads, glutes, and hamstrings. So that's why I like his uh, way of posing his legs more. And if you look at the chest and uh, the arms, sure, Bonnet is better, so... You can make an argument for both of these guys if you prefer the muscularity and conditioning, which is something judges prefer over lines and uh, the flow and you know beautiful aesthetics. You can say that uh, William takes it. So judges do that, and William you know takes it, and he absolutely destroys Josh. So just compare them here, completely annihilates him. Anyways, let's go with the next pose. You can see Rolly. He's also looking pretty decent. A very good role, I would say, but these guys just overwhelmed him. And okay, so back double bicep here. All right, so let's look at this pose and let's go from bottom up. And I would say that in the lower body, William just nails everybody pretty much. You know, his legs are just huge, full, round, so round. There is so much muscle in his legs. And if you look at the glutes, you can say that, yeah, obviously, William's glutes are bigger, they're more muscular. But they're not as defined as those of Cedric. And you can also see that Cedric could have been a little bit more diced. So imagine what we're gonna see if he eventually comes even more peeled, which would be insane, but let's just imagine that. But right now he's definitely better defined than Bonac and also in the hamstring area as well. But you know, if you go just by overall muscularity, development, size, roundness, fullness, thickness, you can say that uh, Bonac takes it. And if you look at the upper body, so the first thing that comes after legs is uh, spinal erectors and the Christmas tree. And oh my god, does Cedric have an amazing, amazing Christmas tree. It's just so crisp, there is just so many little lines on them. It's just amazing, very, very proper Christmas tree. I mean, this is just the way it is supposed to look like. Very, very, very good. And uh, if you look at the Bonac, his spinal erectors are not even visible, right? Can you see them? I cannot really see them. You can see a little tiny bit under his slats, but it's really almost not invisible. But you can see a great, great erector development on Cedric. And if you look at the basically the lats and the overall back thickness also, I mean, the, the Let's go with, with the lats first. So if you pay attention to the lats, they are definitely thicker on Bonac, but his frame is too small. He doesn't have a wide back. So for that reason, he doesn't really show that much of lats. I mean, he does have them. Obviously, you can see a lot of meat hanging below his shoulders. Uh, it's just, you know, not that wide to actually see them spread all over his back. But you can see that on, on Cedric, although they are a bit less developed, still they, they are shown a little bit better. So it's pretty much arguable, you can say that each one of these guys can take it, I don't know, honestly, I'm not sure. So if you, if you go with width, and if you judge this pose based on who has bigger back in terms of number of square centimeters compared to the rest of their bodies, of course, not generally. You can say that Cedric is better, you know, his, leg, his back and the lats and everything just looking bigger, wider, you know. It just takes bigger space on this stage. And there is another thing also, which is very, very important. Don't forget this, a V-taper. 
basically the size of his shoulders and the way his lats are going and creating this beautiful V taper compared to William Bonex bag that is just you know like a tree trunk there is just no no wheat taper no flaw it, this is you know as Aaron Schwarzenegger would say a bottle shaped physique this is not a V shape so for that reason I think I would go with Cedric we can agree that Bonac is more danced he's more muscular more more round and full and yeah he has bigger depth in his back but you know just the overall flow of this pose what this pose is should is supposed to be I would go with Cedric, I'm sorry guys, I mean, whatever you say, tell me in the comment section below, but I would say so. And yeah, if you look at the, the arms, maybe Bona has bigger biceps, but biceps are not that important in this pose, although it is called back double bicep. The most important thing is your back, of course, and then the glutes and the hamstrings, are basically the overall flow of the physique. So, it's arguable, it can go either way, but because of the V shape and the overall flow of the physique, I go with Cedric. And yeah, let's go with the next one. Let's see what we have next. So let's watch them posing in a movement. And yeah, you can see that, yeah, it just looks better, better on, on Cedric. Yeah, so here you can also see Josh and Rolly nowhere near these two top two guys. So yeah, Cedric and Bonac really destroyed it. And this is not a complete uh, pose for Cedric. He did not spread his lats yet all the way. Uh, he's in the transition and I pause it right here because you can see a lot of details in this transition So yeah, a lot of details. You, those details you cannot see on William You can just see the fullness and the roundness and you know a lot of muscle But you cannot see the details, but honestly guys I will have to be objective with this and I will have to give this pose to Bonac He's not known for hitting the greatest back lat spread. He's probably one of his worst poses but in this case, compared to Cedric and pretty much all these guy, other guys, you can see uh, the, the fullness and the thickness. And the one thing that really, really jumps out is his legs. So his lower body, I mean, look at Cedric's legs. They're just underwhelming. I mean, if he competed in like 70s or 80s, maybe this wouldn't be a big problem. But today it is, you know, if you can see bigger uh, development on of your low body or of your wheels, why wouldn't you? And of course you would. So for that reason, William takes it, you know, simply because of the legs. He's not better conditioned. I uh, know, I think Cedric actually brought better conditioning. But uh, what William Bonek was density, muscle density, a whole bunch of muscle on his frame. This is just crazy. Such a short guy, so much muscle. There is pretty much no more muscle that you can put on his frame. If you did that, I don't know, it'll be crazy. And actually, did you, you know that uh, William is eating only four meals a day and not like 500 grams of carbs per meal, maybe like 200 grams of chicken or something like that. So like 50, 40 grams of uh, protein per meal. I guess he just doesn't want to get bigger. I mean, he's just maintaining what he has. There is no point of gaining any more muscle. He is just muscular as hell. And yeah, this is the part when Cedric does this transition. So a lot of details, a lot of small muscle fibers that you can see on his back because of his great conditioning and superior genetics this guy is so genetically blessed i don't think he's even aware of that if he pull it together for once for mr olympia he would be the next champion everybody knows that pretty much i mean there's nothing new and yeah so we come to side tricep pose and william changed it if i remember correctly he used to put his left leg behind and kind of lean backwards like Dorian Yates used to do and how now he changed it and it just uh, he just looks smaller like right now he looks kind of more narrow than he used to look before so I definitely prefer the other variation but as far as what I can see here I can see that his chest is also looking pretty weak he did not mm, bend on the other, other side he didn't show us this angle a little bit more of a front angle he just has to do it he's a short guy he's a a uh, narrow guy, he needs to twist a little bit to show that other shoulder so, so he makes his body, you know, more wide, especially in this pose. But from what I can see, uh, also, I can see that the triceps are not, uh, nothing special, honestly. Yeah, he is known for having great arms, but most of that mass is on his biceps. And if you look at Cedric, Cedric's biceps are just weak. They are not good, definitely not good biceps. There are no peaks on his biceps. But he does have bigger arms and that's because of side, his triceps. And in this pose, side tricep, you can see humongous triceps, really huge triceps. Maybe the shape is not perfect, but definitely huge, huge triceps. And also big chest, very, very big chest. There's chest on, on Bonac, as I said, it looks so tiny, undeveloped. And maybe the 
Maybe you can see better conditioning on the lower body of William. But, you know, maybe you can see that legs are left looking bigger on, on Cedric. Well, I would say so, from the side. They do look bigger, kind of wider. So, for this pose, I go with Cedric. And I don't even question it. I mean, the only thing that Bona has here, maybe, is a bit better conditioning when it comes to legs. But everything else, the overall flow and the triceps, the, the width of their shoulders, the, the chest, everything goes for Cedric. So, Cedric all day and they Lee, as Lee Marco would say, baby. And, yeah, I know you like to compare him, me with him. And I don't know why exactly, but I guess we are both kind of enthusiastic and so on. And I take that as a compliment. I think Louis Marco was one of the best things that we had in bodybuilding. He really made bodybuilding what it is today on YouTube and on social media in general. He definitely made it more popular and I'm really grateful for that and I love that guy. So as a YouTuber, if I can choose to be compared with somebody else, that would be Louis Marco. That definitely would not be an extractive power. That guy is a pretty much Google and that's what he is. Anyways, let's go with the next pose. So from side tricep, we come to the abs and thighs. And uh, this pose, honestly, I mean, I know Cedric has very good small waist and all that stuff. But I don't know, for some reason, there is a layer of... It's probably water, I don't think it's fat on his lower belly. And I don't really like to see that. So his uh, abs and thighs is not the best abs and thighs ever. So from all these uh, guys here that you can see... You can see that Luke Sando is pretty much horrible, much, 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 much worse from Arnold Classic Ohio. Uh, Josh is doing great. This is abs and thighs, so his thighs are looking very, very big and developed and they're also peeled. But his stomach is looking much improved from Arnold Classic Ohio, but not that good. But uh, Rolly is definitely doing the best abs and thighs here. He's not as conditioned as some of these guys, but he definitely does this pose properly. And uh, let's take a look at Cedric and William because we are talking about them in this video. And yeah, as you can see, Bonac is definitely not doing good at this pose. This is one of the, his worst poses because this pose shows elegance. It shows beautiful aesthetics and lines or it is supposed to do that. You know, but Bonek is just so blocky. He is the representation of new era of bodybuilders. He is short, he is developed, but he's too blocky. He's like a pit bull, you know, those those bully pit bulls. He, there is too, man, too much muscle on him, almost, if there is such a thing, too much muscle. So if there was, that would be him. He is just overly muscular. But Cedric, on the other hand, has beautiful flow. His physique is just gorgeous. Compared to Arnold Classic Ohio, he really trimmed a lot of water from his stomach. So his stomach is looking very, very sharp now. And he can, you know, cross his legs like this. And that makes his legs not look uh, that weak compared to Bonac. And Bonac's legs are just humongous. Definitely, he is pretty much destroying everybody in this. Maybe not Josh that much, but everybody else, yeah. But, you know, in this pose, you can cross legs like this and they make you can make them look fuller than they are. So Cedric is doing that very efficiently. And he's showing narrow waist, something that Bonac doesn't have. And for that reason, I give this pose to Cedric. I mean, is it really necessary for me to say it aloud? This is just obvious, obvious as hell. Anyways, let's proceed to the next pose, guys. By the way, look at Luke Sando. He just messed it up. I don't know. I'm really sorry for him. I really expected him to be better. But yeah, he just failed it this time. So yeah, now we're going to go with the uh, most muscular and logically, you would say that that's gonna be a pose for William because he is the most muscular guy here. And he did not win Arnold Classic Ohio, but he won an award for most muscular bodybuilder on that stage. But right now, I give this pose to Cedric. So once again, he has the option to cross his legs, making them look fuller. You can see less gaps. And you can see more gaps on uh, William because he's spreading his legs too much. He thinks he can can do it because of his fullness, and obviously he can. I mean, he won the show. But in my opinion, from what I can see here, I don't really like what I see. I don't like to see that big of a gap because he's also a small guy. He's short. If you are this short, you know, that better show that fullness. And he's definitely doing that in the upper body. His arms are just, you know, his biceps are touching his chest. There is pretty much no room for all of his muscle. He, he's barely managing to, to stand there, you know. The, his arms are just too too big. They just look humongous. I mean, can you pack more muscle in his frame? I don't think that's even imaginable. But if you look at Cedric, though, if you look at his 
shoulders, they are so white. His traps are looking beautiful. His shoulders are looking so, so good, so aesthetic. The arms, very, very aesthetically pleasing, guys. Look at this. I mean, if you know what aesthetics mean, you must admire this. And they are both hiding their waist with their hands, with their yeah, hands and arms, forearms, but you can kind of see that William's waist is looking bigger. I don't know why, maybe because of... Maybe you can just see it, even in, in these gaps. But you can you can see also that uh, Cedric's waist is looking much smaller. That makes his physique look even more powerful. And the arms, I just love the separations. I love the, the, the pop and the triceps and a little bit smaller biceps. So this just looks more aesthetic and more pleasing to, to watch, you know, to the eye. So this time I, I also give this pose to Cedric. And look, he's actually doing good. He, this pose, he's actually doing fine. You can't really go muscle by muscle and say who is better into this pose, but like if you look at both of them at the same time, me personally, I just say Cedric all day. And yeah, there are Rolly and Josh, not as good as these guys, honestly. It's mainly the conditioning thing, so who is the better man on that day. And this was really, really exhausting. Judges really tortured these bodybuilders. And I know how it is. I have competed as well, and I know this is really, really hard. I mean, it's probably much easier for them than it was for me, for my first competition, but yeah. So take a look at the, this uh, side, actually, quarter turns. Basically, from the side, you can see that, yeah, I mean, Bonak is more muscular, but is he as conditioned as Cedric? It's close, but I would I just say that Cedric is better conditioned. I mean, you can look at the, the mid-back, you know, the traps and the rhomboids and also the directors. Cedric is definitely more peeled in the hamstrings and glutes as well, but Bonak is just bigger, and for that reason he won. You know, this is open bodybuilding, guys. The, the, the main, main thing here is muscularity. But you cannot come flabby, you cannot come blurry. You must show the muscle that you have. If you don't show it, you it's much like you don't even have it. So it's just, you know, about finding that condition that is good enough, that shows the muscle enough. It's not about who is better conditioned. I mean, that's not, not going to win you a show as such caliber. If you are an amateur bodybuilder in that kind of shows, you may win the show only because of conditioning. So somebody can be much more muscular than you, but if you are more conditioned, you can win it. But not in this kind of pro, pro uh, shows. You can just show enough and be big and developed and symmetrical and proportions should be of okay. That's going to be enough for you to win it. So, overall, based on what I've seen so far, based on all these poses and quarter turns, I may conclude that Swat Hedrick should have won it. And it was pretty close. I guess the only reason why he lost is because of the, the, the mass in his legs. He's lacking that. So, is that something that he can improve by the time Olympia comes? I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. And if he comes a little bit more conditioned, I think that's going to be enough to show enough of his muscles and potentially he may even win the show. Although if you look at the scorecard, you can see that Bonac was better for five whole points. That's not little. That is a lot. That is a very convincing win. So it wasn't close. Basically, Bonac destroyed him if you look at the, the judging scores. But I don't know how is that really possible. I guess muscle density and muscle size pretty much is very very important in these shows so for, for that reason i guess bonak won but in my opinion he shouldn't have i have cedric win this show and what do you guys think do you think muscularity is more important than conditioning and the overall flow of the physique do you think cedric really deserved to be second did he deserve to win maybe what is your thought? What do you think? So tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to do that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video. And, uh, oh yeah, we can see Arnold doing a selfie. So he likes it. He likes what he sees. I mean, you can see that he's pointing camera towards Cedric. So there's another guy who agrees with me. And probably with most of you guys. So, I mean, this is pretty much obvious. What do judges see? We do not know. We are not them. They have their own criteria and the reasons why they judge the shows the way they judge. And I guess if you want to win, you just must listen to them and sometimes do something that you wouldn't do normally. But if they say you do it, you gotta do it. When they say jump, you must say how high. <laughs> So if you want to be victorious, that's what you do. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for the following. I appreciate all the comments that you left in the last video. I replied to every single one. Thank you so much. We are a great community. We're building this together. This is going to be great. This is going to be epic. I can feel it right now. 
So once again, thank you very much. Make sure to leave the comment and to like the video. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.